to school shopping is not limited to supplies in the classroom. Parents who have kids with severe allergies are also racing to find EpiPens. One mom reached out to contact seven with her difficult experience tracking them down for her daughter. Denver 7's Connor Wiss connected with her about how she's dealing with a shortage. Oh, you see the bee? Yeah. Oh, he's going to make some honey. Yeah. Emma Hamasaki is a busy bee. She just finished her first days of kindergarten. Oh boy. Her mom, Rachel, is busy too, in a different way. She's been scouring pharmacies, searching for EpiPens. I went to the pharmacy, as I always do whenever I need an EpiPen, and I went to the pharmacist and they said, we have no EpiPens. So I was shocked. I didn't know what I was being told. With Emma's severe nut allergy, EpiPens aren't really an option. They are a necessity. We have to have one everywhere we go. Rachel reached out to contact seven to share her journey to find EpiPens before school started. It was no easy task, especially when she was put on a waiting list. And again, I was shocked. What do you mean wait list? And they said, well, right now we have 22 people on the wait list, so you can join that. Rachel called 34 pharmacies around Denver to find them. I called Safeways, Costco's, Walgreens, Walmarts, everything, all the King Supers. Most places were out of stock, except for one. I found one finally in Arvada which was about a 40 minute drive. A relief for Rachel, but also a concern as she looks toward the future in needing more when the stock is not keeping up with the demand. And it's a medicine that you have to buy every year. And for her, she's gonna need four. And there's so many people in this country and the world that have allergies. That's just something that, you know, you have to have it if you have a severe allergy. In Lafayette, Connor Wist, Denver 7. Wow, and the FDA just approved the first generic version of the EpiPen late this last week, hoping this will provide more options during the shortage and create new competition to drive down the cost. Now, if you have a problem for the Contact 7 team, you can always call or text our tip line. That number's on your screen. You can also send us emails at contact7 at thedenverchannel.com.